New at 10, God told her so. That is what a Monroe City Council member told police when officers responded to a disturbing the peace call. Well, more than 30 videos of the incident have been released by the police department. And tonight, Fox 46's Will Lewis watched the videos and has more of how this was an interesting night. The initial call was on the night of September 9th. Monroe police called to the Fairfield Inn for a disturbing the peace call. The person the hotel wanted removed, council member Angelia James. James is also running for mayor of Monroe. The hotel staff called because James was telling hotel guests the place was not safe because God told her so. When God showed me that individual, I was like, something ain't right. And then I told them, I said, he don't supposed to be here. And they was like, well, he worked here. I'm like, no, he's a felon. He don't supposed to be here. Officers responding knew it was a delicate situation, with one saying they were walking on eggshells because of who they were dealing with. They asked if James was having a medical issue and then asked EMTs to check her vitals, but she refused to go to the hospital. All right, she said I'm free to go. Yep. Are y'all ready? ready to go back inside? This is body cam footage from Monroe Police. Captain Rhett Bolin requested the video to be released. And your name is Rhett Bolin. Okay, you are a captain. For now. Okay, no, listen, I said for now. As he bared a lot of threats and accusations from the council member, sometimes while on the phone with Monroe Police Chief Brian Gillard. Okay, yeah, you don't like black people. And I don't care about oh, you don't like black people. No, I, I you don't. All kinds no, you don't. He don't like black people. I love all so kinds right of people. now, right um, now, um, um, Brian, he's a captain. Four, nine, but after tonight, five, he is no six, longer three, a captain. Do you understand that? Police did speak with the man James claims was a felon. He done murdered someone. Her husband then took her home, but police were called to the home of Angelia James, where she told police. So y'all got taken to the hospital. At the hospital, it was more of the same. James walking into other rooms, yelling, and at one point commenting in the hallway about the pandemic. This COVID is oh, over. Okay. Before medical staff could sedate James, she issued more threats. You gonna be fired, you gonna be fired, and you gonna be fired. The medical staff did get the situation under control, but many who know Angelia James says this was not in her character. A spokesperson for the city says the incident is still under investigation, and so far no charges have been filed. Will Lewis, Fox 46. Monroe City Council member Angela James is out as head coach of Porter Ridge High School varsity women's basketball team. She shared the news on Twitter today, posting in part, I'm very disappointed with the decision that was made, but I trust God. Based off a moment that I had, we all have them. Mine was recorded, that's all. And she's referring to a video released by Monroe police and it shows an incident at a hotel on September 9th. Police responding to a call for someone disturbing the peace. Officers arrived and questioned James. She made threats to fire off fire officials eventually had to be taken home and then to the hospital. However, she has not been charged with a crime. What police not charging a woman for her crimes? I am shocked, shocked. I tell you. Union County Schools confirming James is no longer coaching there after two seasons on the job. It did not confirm if she was fired, though, nor why she is no longer with the school. James is running for Monroe mayor this November.